MIX is an imaging X-ray spectrometer and what that means is that it is an instrument which is going to measure fluorescent X-rays from the surface of Mercury and what that tells us about the formation of Mercury and its history, how its surface has evolved over time. The other aspect of the MIX science is that we're going to be able to look at how Mercury interacts with its surrounding magnetic environment. We're going to be able to see how the Sun interacts with Mercury directly using our instrument. Once BEPI has launched and deployed, the first thing we'll do with MIX is to turn it on to make sure it has survived the harsh environment of launch. We can't see out of the spacecraft during cruise, so instead we have to look at a radioactive source which we'll use to calibrate the instrument. Once we've completed our checkout, every six months during cruise, we turn it on again and make sure that it's still running okay. The MIX has a really state-of-the-art optic that's been developed here at the University of Leicester which focuses light down onto a detector that was provided by our German collaborators. The optics on MIX are made from glass, but they are iridium coated, which is a high Z metal, and we use iridium because otherwise X-rays can't be focused. The optics also have an aluminium film on the front in order to stop any stray light coming down the telescope, because that would wash out the CCDs and mean that we couldn't see anything from the X-rays. The Sun produces high energy X-ray photons which impact the surface of Mercury at an atomic level and in that process produce a fluorescent X-ray which MIX will measure. Now the fluorescent X-ray has a unique signature which tells us what that atom is made of. But interestingly, we also find from messenger data that on the dark side of the planet, we also see an X-ray emission coming from the surface. Now, this can't be due to the sun's interaction, and what we think is happening is that charged particles, likely electrons, that are within Mercury's magnetic environment are actually interacting directly with Mercury's surface. So that gives us a second, very different goal for the MIX instrument. It's really exciting that Bepi Colombo has finally got to launch. This is a mission that's been in the works for many, many years. Unfortunately, there are people like George Fraser, who is my PhD supervisor and the driving force behind the design and build of this instrument, uh, who sadly passed away a few years ago. It's a real shame that he won't be able to see the launch, but it's really good to know that his legacy will carry on all the way to Mercury. We're going to be getting brand new data back from the planet Mercury, and we're going to see that data before anybody else on the planet and that's really exciting, those new discoveries and new questions that will be raised about the planet. Mm -hmm.